So folks, it's that wonderful time again. We have an update here in Beam and G Drive, and I think this is probably one of the more anticipated updates that we've had. It is the T-Series Remake. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, Komodo, that doesn't look like the T-Series at all. Well, I can assure you, uh, there is the normal T-Series, but they have a new variation here. This is a cab over semi, and oh my goodness, it has been a long time coming. I've been wanting to see one of these in Beam and G Drive, uh, for a long time now we're also carrying one of the new trailers so that's a new thing here with the update uh, there's quite a few new configurations for those including stuff like dump trailers you can make like little road trains honestly some really cool stuff and you're probably wondering where are we at well west coast usa has seen a pretty significant update uh, we're actually on the new island and they've added this awesome new dock slash container facility. And folks, that's not all what they've done here. I think this gas station, I believe this one is new here. Uh, they've also improved the police station, which we're going to check that out a little bit later. But I want to start here uh, with the T-Series. So yeah, you can fully interact with this thing. You can pop open all the little, uh, I think these are like little storage drawers. Uh, we can climb in there. We do have uh, the containers, which I think you can detach these. Uh, so you got those. Uh, there's a lot that you can interact with. Here's the support feet. Uh, so you can put these up and down uh, via buttons here. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and climb it into the cab. Uh, definitely a little bit of a retro style truck here. We will go into a little bit more of the modern one here in a minute. Uh, but, man, you just, you got to admire this. The Beam and G devs are absolutely amazing. Like, look at this thing. This is classy. I'll say you got, like, the sleeper in the back. Uh, we're in the long haul version of it. Uh, you got all sorts of doodads you can uh, actually play with here, which I'm not going to pretend it'll be like, oh yeah, I know everything about trucks here, but there's quite a bit that you can uh, interact with inside of the cockpit here. You see your engine brake, uh, you got the center differential, fifth wheel over here, there's your parking brake, and then you have what is the PTO, I don't know actually what that does, I mean we could click it, oh, not really sure what I just did there. Oh no, I got a lot to actually learn about this, this is cool looking, uh, is there any overhead? Uh, I don't see any overhead buttons that we can click. Oh my goodness. I, I'm excited right now. All right, uh, we're going to pull out of the... Actually, how do we get out of the shipping yard? I mean, I see the booth there, but that's definitely for the uh, people coming in. There's got to be an, a proper exit around here. I'm uh, going to swing wide. We got a really big trailer. I think it's on the other side here. Uh, so we definitely want to do that. But man, this thing, uh, it could be a legit trucking sim. With all that they've added this update... It is truly ridiculous. And yeah, if you look at it on paper, it's like, oh yeah, well, they just remastered one vehicle and they added some stuff to the map. But this is like a vehicle that desperately needed it. And there are so many different gameplay opportunities with just this vehicle alone and all the different configurations and trailers that truly it is a massive update. Okay, I see markings for exit here. So we're gonna legit try to, actually, you know what? I need to figure out where we're even going. Uh, we could haul this over to the construction site, or, you know, it might would make sense going all the way across town to the newer facility from the last update. I do want to see that police station. I'm going to go ahead and put a marker here, though. Uh, that way we can figure out where we're going. And we're just going to do a little cruise here to begin with. We are going to check out some more variations. We are going to check out that new police station, because I think it, there's even, like, a part of an interior in there. Uh, and it's got, like, an underground parking garage. Okay, swing right. All right, here we come out the exit. Make sure not to clip anything. I'd like to actually get over there and not crash. I uh, got our speed bumps here. We got a stop sign. Probably would have... Actually, what are those cameras for? Is that like scanning the cargo? What's coming out? Uh, that could be what this is. Like a, maybe a security checkpoint. Say your uh, containers just came in off like a big cargo ship. Which, honestly, I'd like to see them model like a cargo ship out there. And, like It doesn't have to move or anything, but just having one setting in the dock or the port area would be really cool. And yeah, we need career mode truck jobs. And I, I feel like that's definitely gonna be a thing with, I mean, obviously this massive update with the trucks and trailers. But yeah, I must say the cab over, there's something about that style of truck. It's gotta be one of my favorite styles of truck, even though you don't see it these days, unless you see an old one driving around. Uh, honest question, like, is there, is there a such thing as a modern cab over? I know like some of the European trucks, like maybe the man trucks, have like those flat fronts on it. But as far as like an American truck, is that something that we see anymore? Or somebody can answer that down below. Uh, so stay tuned. We are going to crash this thing. We got to test out the damage model, but I'm just having fun driving right now. Like it's so refreshing getting to drive uh, a new vehicle, even though technically it's not a new vehicle. 
but it is. Also, what kind of vehicles do you want to see in Beam and G Drive next? What do you think the devs should work on? Honestly, I love the truck, the D series, but I would love to see a modern truck, like something with the modern amenities, a little bit more luxurious. Uh, I think that would be awesome to see, and hopefully that'd be something we get soon. Hey, here we go up on the highway. I swear I got really close to the wall back there. Did I knock my mirror off? Oh my goodness, wait. <laughs> a part of my visor, I did clip the wall. My visor's hanging down right now. Uh, no, this is fine. So right now we are in low two, so let's go ahead and go into high two. Would I lock the differential here? Is that gonna help me? I don't know if it is written, but definitely feels like being in high gear, it's getting a little bit more pickup. Ooh. <laughs> is this explosive? What is in this? Uh, I don't see any of the hazard. Oh, it's corrosive. Yeah, it doesn't have the big red diamond on it saying this stuff's gonna explode. Also, it feels like this particular trailer might be top heavy. Can I like, here on, let me sway it a little bit. Oh yeah, it is. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, that's kind of scary. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, that's scary. All right, oh, my turn's coming up here. Uh, we're gonna kind of blow through this one. It's probably a, oh no. Oh, well, we're not getting a load there on time. Did you see it detach? Holy man, that was honestly kind of cool looking. Um, all right. So we hit a pole there right in the middle. Did it crack the windows? It blew out the windows up at the top. That's kind of cool. Also, that is like a tight sleeping quarters up there. Well, this is probably the perfect opportunity to go check out some other new things. So as far as the full list of the T-Series here, there is a ton of variation now to this. Uh, you got the cab over like cargo uplift. Uh, I know there's some new dump beds. There's a dump trailer now. You got the TC82, which I think there's the TC82 and then there's the 83. Those are your different variations. Uh, some are cab overs and then some like you see down here, that's the sleeper version of it. But yeah, there's car uplifts. You got some like uh, ones with the tankers attached. You got this massive thing here, the TC83, the T600 special, which I'm sure it's a a bit of a beast. You got your Ram plows, and then you have the TC83, the long haul custom. I wanted to pull this out. This thing looks neat. So yeah, I would think this is a little bit more of a modern truck here. Hold on, let's look at the inside of it. Oh yeah, like it's not like super modern. I still think these are based on a little bit older trucks, but the layout here looks a little bit cleaner. Honestly, it looks a little less like your grandma's leather couch uh, inside of here, but I mean, it's still good. And then you still have the same functionality as far as the same buttons. Uh, you can't interact with like the lights or anything up here in the engine fan, but I think eventually like we'll get to interact with everything, which would be awesome. Uh, so we can pull out our special keys here. You can see there's some stuff that we can do here. Uh, increase, decrease suspension height. So we can you hear like that air suspension go. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I just barely hit the, the gas there. I mean, it, oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, that sounds actually kind of awesome. Is that the engine brake? Is that the Jake brake going? I th guess they call it the Jake brake. That's what we used to call it here. I used to live on a road where truckers would activate that constantly. So it sounded like loud farts passing by the house. All right, can we, uh, can we adjust that engine brake? Uh, can I go, is it, what's it set to right now? Can I, I guess I can turn it off. I see I can interact with it, the button itself, but I don't see the button actually moving. Here, let's go into high there, which you could see it actually move down in the bottom and then we'll lock the differential. There we go. I must say, I. I think they've redone the sound on this. Like, it sounds definitely meaner. Uh, I'm gonna shut up for a second, let you guys enjoy the sounds of the T-Series here. Oh man, that sounds just too good. Okay, I think we're gonna pull over here at this little uh, well site and uh, maybe we're gonna play with some more trailers here. Uh, gotta be careful coming off. Uh, there's also some other new section. I think there's a commercial, actually, maybe we should find that. I know I talked about the police station. We'll check that out at the end, but there is a commercial, uh, I think they called it like a station somewhere on the map, uh, maybe on the new island. By the way, while flying around, was this originally here? This is more rail. And this now goes around this whole little bit of island. I, you know, I don't want to say that that was or wasn't there, uh, but that looks kind of new to me. Also, another thing to note, this area looks empty now. I think something big is coming to this. So you used to be able to drive in, which I think you can still drive in here, 
but this little construction site looked different so that's definitely been touched up I don't know if all of this is in the patch notes because I, I feel like the beam devs like add stuff sometimes that basically go unmentioned so I think I found the commercial garage area that I was talking about. So here it is. Check this out. So this is the Shuffleboard Logistics and Distribution Center. We should probably load up over here. So I'm going to move my truck this way. One thing to note, the dockyard that I mentioned earlier, like the docks, it isn't exactly new, but it's been completely overhauled and looks a lot more busy. All right, let's get another trailer out here. So there is a ton of opportunities here with the trailers. Uh, you can see we got quite a few new container trailers. And you got ways to like extend these and I believe you can attach uh, multiple trailers together now which I think there used to be mods for that but now like it's in the game so yeah you got a trailer dolly here which we might try to hook that up here in a minute I want to check out uh, one of these dump trailers so just to note real quick before we hook up this dump trailer uh, I did actually click on the description uh, this was the uh, one I pointed out earlier there's a NOS tank in this this one's meant for jumping like you can activate the NOS. I'm assuming this is a zippy boy. Oh my goodness. Yep. Oh, and we're in low here. Let's go high two. Let's lock the differentials. Give it some gas. Uh, I get distracted really easily when we have new updates. I'm like, oh, look, another shiny thing. I promise you we are going to hook up that dump trailer. I just wanted to test this out real quick. And oh my goodness. Dude, this thing is zippy. Oh, I like this. Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Holy man. Okay. This one's good. <laughs> oh, this, you know, honestly, this might be one of my favorite updates here in BMG Drive. This is just a vehicle that needed love uh, because of the way it was. Like, I, I would always go look for mods for new configurations and just new variations to this T series. And now here we have it in the default game. Definitely got to applaud the BMG devs. All right, so of course we've got the Patriot special here. Uh, I think this comes with a nice like red interior. Uh, this is oh man, this is classy looking. So uh, one thing I, I should note, you can actually adjust things here. So this is it setting down. I'm not gonna pretend to know the terminology of what's going on here. But yeah, if we uh, shift this up, uh, we should be able to slide right onto the uh, the dump trailer here. Like I'm sure you can simply just press L. Uh, I think you can but it's a lot more immersive here as far as the way you hook stuff up and then there we go we are now hooked on all right well it's it's moving hold on did we put the well i think it looks like the legs automatically still go up let's ensure that are they up the supports all the way okay no they're down now all right we want to make sure it's up there we go okay so we're gonna pull out of here this is a long trailer all right watch out everybody be courteous or i'm gonna dump a load all over your vehicle and what the heck was that Okay, that car just kind of pulled out right in front of me there. All right, so I am uh, pretty sure this thing actually works. So if I hit Shift T, oh my goodness, look at that. So that's the hydraulic PTO control. So that's gonna be the positive there. So now the bed is lifting. If I'm not mistaken, oh, do I have to unlatch this back or? Oh yeah, I think I do. Cause yeah, right now the trailer's uh, actually latched. So the, it won't actually open up. Say if you had like a load of gravel in here, uh, man, this is, this is so freaking cool. It's like, not only do you get an awesome, like T series remastered, you get the trailers to go along with it. All right. So we're going to lift that up there. Don't know if we'll get around to doing like a road train this episode. I definitely want to go check out, uh, the, uh, police station, but look at that. That is impressive. And then of course we would, uh, hit the trailer latches that way that would open up and you'd be able to dump your load. That is honestly like super impressive. I like that a whole lot. And then, yeah, we would just hit shift G and that should lower this. Okay. Here it comes down and boom. All right. looks like it's locked into place. Let's go ahead and hit that latch. There we go and you are ready to drive off we'll go high to lock the differential and we're uh we're good to go Han, is there still the same horn no, the horn doesn't sound different to me i mean it could be a little bit different so yeah we've uh we've done the thing here hold on I, one thing it's bugging me i, I know you guys want to see it where is this police station I, I think oh there it is look at this thing so yeah this is the new police station you can't go inside a part of it it looks like 
So yeah, you got a lobby here. There's actually another door up there. So yeah, you can get around and walk around in this. It's pretty cool. And then if we look alongside here, there's an opening and you do have a full uh, garage in here, which man for hide and seek uh, videos and multiplayer, this would be a good spot. Uh, you can actually get lost in here. So it goes up. I guess it goes all the way to the top. There's the red level. That's the level three. Oh, there's an entrance on this side. Okay, so you can come down through this or you can go through the side here, uh, depending on which way you want to go. And, of course, there is this level here. I think this will probably lead to, like, an elevator uh, that would take you up into the station. Uh, that's pretty impressive. And we have a helipad up at the top. I just now noticed that. That's kind of cool, too. I mean, there's a couple helicopter mods in Beam and G Drive. But yeah, last but not least, I want to grab, uh, instead of doing the, the train, which eventually I want to do an episode on that, uh, I'm still just now getting a hold of this update, I want to look at one of these car uplifts. I think you got to do the cab over one, because uh, this is freaking awesome. Hold on, let's take it out of the highway real quick. Parked over by the HOV lanes. Look at this. That is sweet. So yeah, you could be hauling another truck. Say, uh, you know, we're going to actually do that. Let's put a, a truck up here. We'll say it's broken down. By the way, I don't know if this is a thing before, but here, let me unlatch the other side. There we go. Uh, we'll pop that up there. Let's shut the engine off. So, yeah, we're going to say this bad boy is broken down on the side of the road, and we must go rescue it real quick. Oh, sorry, I'm in the HOV lane. Give me a second. Uh, are we clear home? We can use our physical mirrors now. The mirrors look great, uh, I must say. It's nice, especially when you're, like, hauling cargo, like, being able to see your trailer and stuff. All right, we're going to pull over to this side, and I'm going to need to back up here, get pretty close to it. Probably going to use the window. That way I can see a little bit better. There we go. Get a little bit closer. And we'll call it right there. All right, parking brake on. So, yeah, we're going to hop out here, and we're going to use the actual switches on the side. Uh, just makes it a little bit more immersive here. Uh, so we want to tilt and hold on. Let's put the bed out a little bit. There we go. I don't know if I'm too close here. We're about to figure that out. Uh, let's go down. I got the arms down. All right, let's extend the bed out a little more. There we go. I think we could go up that with the other T-Series. All right, we're going to ignore the whole fact this thing now runs. I just want to pull it up on this trailer. Here we go. And is it going to fit? Oh, it's going to be close, but yep, it fits. Okay, pull up to the front. Parking brake engage. Let's go ahead and shut the engine off. There we go. And then we want to go back to bed controls here. So not going to lie, I have a big goofy smile on my face. This is so cool. Uh, think of uh, tow truck jobs in Beam and G. Like that should definitely be a thing too. And I think we're good, so we just click this, and we're ready to enter our cab. Oh, <laughs> I think I hit it with my face. All right, and close that up there. We're good to go. We got our uh, the trucks on, and we're ready to take off here. And by the way, I totally had a setting that was kind of jacked up. Uh, I did notice when I was carrying that trailer earlier, I couldn't really see the side of my truck. I wasn't paying too much attention to it. I saw the trailer. Uh, you got to turn on a little bit higher detail in the mirrors. Now you can actually, instead of just seeing the truck that we're hauling, you could see the side of our truck here. Uh, you can see, like, the side of the bed. Uh, so that definitely needs to be turned on. And it's only for supported vehicles, which obviously is, I think is just the T-Series right now. Which I slowly think they'll add that to the other vehicles. But look at this. There we go. We're hauling off. That looks great. Like, this is so excellent. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about the update. Uh, we will be covering more of this soon, and we'll see you guys next time.